quick recap of the bomb shelter elevator project. In episode one, we found out we had a bomb shelter, so we decided to make an elevator. We got this from an Amazon warehouse since they raised the Prime membership. It had a music box, but we didn't like the song, so we uh, we installed this electric winch. We wired it wrong, and so it uh, caught on fire, so that was unfortunate. So then uh, our host decided to ride it anyways, but that malfunction caused it to drive him straight to the ceiling and killed him. Uh, so we, we put him in the bomb shelter to storm. Uh, we got nervous about the whole situation, so we decided to grind serial numbers off of this thing. And then we found the graboid egg, so we decided to try to hatch it. We'll see how that goes. And then uh, we got nervous about the whole situation, so we decided to breathe deeply into the paint cabinet, like a paper bag, you know, kind of thing. And then uh, we decided to reenact the scene from Misery, but we hit too hard, and then the legs, the legs fell off. So we uh, learned how to make glitter, so that was pretty uplifting. You know, and then we made a blood oath with uh, the devil, to just to make this thing work. We just... We got to get this thing working. And I got best of my dress clothes because it was time to make rent and I gave you guys what you wanted. And then we got cleaned up with some paper towels. And then after that, we decided to look where we keep people who watch the videos but don't subscribe. We keep them right in there. And then uh, we found out that the graboid eggs were counterfeit. You know, we scratched the middle of the surface and we were pretty disappointed. Uh, so we decided to work out to try to blow off some steam and get a bit of better butt so we could make more money from the videos. But we got bored and went fishing instead. And then the rabbit dog came back for another fight. And then we decided to try to ride the extended uh, elevator, and um, but uh, I chickened out, so uh, we came back down. So in this episode, uh, uh, stay tuned, and uh, we'll get some more stuff done. The next thing we need to look at is some kind of safety, because this is, would be a significant fall from up there. It's 143 inches from the top, just under 12 feet to break your legs. All right, we're back in the shop. Let's go ahead and pop open this package here. We got welding mask, and we got this. When you buy safety equipment, make sure you buy good American-made stuff. I wonder if anybody's ever thought about sending a package of razor blades to AVE. This is called an SRL, self-retracting lifeline. Okay, how this is supposed to work is it's got a cable that comes in and out of the bottom here. And it's supposed to be like a seatbelt, inertia reel. So let's see if we try to jerk it. Yeah, see that? It's fine to go in and out. It doesn't care about that. But if you try to jerk it, no jerking. So let's see if we can sneak up on it. Nope. Okay, so we're going to do a double cable. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna run it through this Harbor Freight lifting block. It's got a little pulley here. And we're gonna go down to our cart, loop back, and then attach to the highest point on the on the track. I'll show you with this stick, see? Okay, so watch, as I pull this stick out, the cable comes out twice as fast. So if our cart is going like this, and our cart starts to fall, it's gonna get arrested a lot faster with this mechanism being in double cable mode. So if this is rated for 330 and we use double cable, say it's rated for 660 minus the weight of the cart. So for people, I want to limit the capacity of cart to 500 pounds so that this thing could catch them. When I've got cargo on there, I can go up to 1,000 pounds in the dual line mode on the winch. And if it falls to the bottom, it's not, it's not the end of the world if it's just cargo. Now these SRLs are meant for roofers and people who work in high spots on catwalks and stuff like that. And what they're meant to do is give you freedom to move around and do your work. But if you fall, it's meant to catch you. Here, our little Harbor Freight block here. It takes 14 millimeter. Take our pulley, run it like this. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hook this here and we'll run this back up to the top. Let's just hook it to here for right now. Then we can run some quick and dirty tests on it. The good news from this test is we know we're not going to inadvertently trigger our SRL 
by running it through a snatch block and then running the winch on single line mode, which is the fastest this is ever gonna run. Now that we have an idea that our brake system's gonna work, let's take her inside and fabricate all the brackets. Grab the motor plucker. Excuse me. All right, with her supported like that, we can run her up and down. All right, the next thing I want to do is remove these front wheels. Now let's throw a strap around the bottom here to stop our carriage from going all the way down and falling out the bottom. Take our extra strap, kick it under here. It's perfect. All right, with our carriage as far down as it goes, we can mark where these bars would interfere with any ring that we welded for our SRL cable. Okay, that's the highest it can possibly go. I'm using my two marker marks, marky mark, to figure out where this hook or where this plate can mount, this pulley plate. The doves are out in shrink today, so just ignore that. All right, I've got an idea. We'll take an inch and a half tubing, put it right here, and we'll put some ears at, call it, let's go a little bit too long, let's call it 13 and 14 inches. Now, uh, we can always, it's, <laughs> It's always better to have that extra inch, fellas. You know what I'm talking about. Because you can always cut it off, you know, if it becomes a problem. You know, you can't, you can't add it, but you can always cut it off. Right, fellas? All right, so that means we need a 14 inch piece. Oh, this would have been beautiful. It's the right thickness and everything, but some idiot started cutting it right there. So let's go find another piece. Here's the thickness we want. That many thicknesses. All right, looks like our first piece is our wiener. Ah. Ah. Perfect. I want to make ears that will hold this here. One that comes off the end and one here. But we need to go get the material. Forgot to get the ear material. So God's provided over here. Look at this. this. Isn't bad. Let's put that. Let's go see if we can find some ear material. Sounds gross, doesn't it? Wife hates it when I'm digging for ear material. All right, I got some wieners. Let's go uh, check it out. Okay, here's all our different candidates. Some flat plate, some angles, or here's an L. How would that work? That wouldn't, that wouldn't be, uh, that wouldn't be half bad, would it? Put it like that. Uh -huh -huh. Go like that, that slips in there.
Uh oh. Do 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 do. Okay, here's the bolt that it came with. Good news is we got tons of welding slag in it somehow. Looks pretty good. This is brand new. This is this month's drill bit set before I lose three quarters of them. Okay, now we have to be super precise here. So I'm gonna put my head to the side. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna put my head to the other side. Okay, that looks crooked. Okay, now we're gonna put our head back to the other side. That looks pretty good. And now the other side. And we go back and forth until we don't care. Oh, look, it went right, went right into the vise and ruined the brand new bit. Isn't that beautiful? Just trying to do it again. Ah. Let's see, did it get it? Did it get, did it get the tip? She may be all right. Why am I whispering? All right, let's see if she fits. Oh, look at that. Man, that's a dandy. This video is sponsored by Harbor Freight. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, guys. Nobody's sponsoring me. I need another hand. Ah. Oh my goodness, I have this wrong. One of those days, guys. It's just one of those days. Let's see if we use something like this as our bracket. This is just a whole series of compromises, mostly safety compromises. Can't simply bolt this on here and then bolt this on here like that because as you get further down, this is gonna do is it's going to straighten out like that. And, if, and when it does, the cable's gonna rub on the edge of this. So that's not gonna work for us. What I really wanna do is make this rigid like that. Look at number three, it says, do not use for lifting aircraft. We're not gonna do that, so that's good. All right, it's hitting our pulley here. In fact, you can see it's kind of rolling on the pulley. So let's take off another, honestly, that would probably be your best bet right there, <laughs> is not to have an edge at all. All right, we went from having this piece of angle iron to cutting it down like this, to not really liking that. Now we're just gonna go with this. Let's go deburr this. We 
get a couple three eighths, three eighths caps. One of our issues is our plate goes under here and one of the bolts has to go through this pipe right here. It's inch and a half, it's right here. So we're gonna need a longer bolt. It's too small, that's metric. Let's go with this one. All right, let's plan out our bolt pattern here. Now let's rehang our SRL. Let's go ahead and see how she's working. See our pulley tucked right into that pocket down there. Plenty of clearance all the way around. Okay, let's go back up and see how it goes. This saddens me. Okay, something to take a look here is this whole thing's got to go in an inch, okay? But what I was looking at is wouldn't it be sweet if this was mounted like right here, right? Wouldn't that be awesome? Because the cable could go straight up and down. And look, all we'd have to do is take this piece of angle iron and go this way with it too. Let's do a quick sketch. Take our new plan and start cutting. Okay, we rounded that edge to fit this little chamfer in here, or radius.
You always want to weld next to like $22,000 worth of lumber. If I was real cool, I would have just cut a notch out of a continuous strip and it would have bridged this. I didn't think of it though. I gotta grab a couple half inch bolts. I don't have any right now. So we're just gonna use this 3 8 bolt for testing. Looks like it's working perfectly. This would be more like that in use. So in emergency, this thing would, you know, would be like this, and then you'd get down to about right there. So you'd fall about three inches before you got caught like that. And that's within its, this, you know, figure that's vertical. This is within its specs. I think you're allowed like 20 degrees or something. So you're fine. Okay, our bracket is welded on. And I threw a new ground clamp on the welder and put, a new, put it on a, a shorter, beefier extension cord. And I ran another bead on the stuff that I thought didn't penetrate enough. So I threw a little extra bead on some of the critical welds, like on the C channel here. Okay, you guys, the last thing we need to do before we trust this thing with our lives is test it. So let's go ahead and test it in single cable mode. I weigh 220 pounds, so it should be good for at least double that in double cable mode. Let's get ready. Feels pretty secure. Okay, I hope this thing works.
All right, you guys, well, it's safe to say that this thing's ready to go. Our very scientific test just proved it. So uh, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.